We'll do a standard pedal test here. This is to uh, see how the adjustment is. How uh, far to depress before electricity goes enough to run the motor. Yeah, it's more than halfway. Okay, it's it's out of adjustment. That's pretty normal. Um, so we'll open it up and take a look and check the carbon stacks. The good news is there's nothing live in here. <laughs> and it definitely needs some cleaning and adjusting. Yeah. Okay. We open up the housing here and take a look at the carbons in the carbon stack and there's over 50 on each side here and we do that because we want to clean the housing and sometimes there's burnt carbon and if you can see the black rim there we need to polish that off and then we need to check all the carbons to see if any of them are burned or damaged um, like in the other stack there you see there's a little whoop, where'd that go there's a little chunk out of one looks like somebody took a bite out of the cheese there that can make an uneven electric flow so I'll get with that Okay, after cleaning and inspecting uh, all of these, um, what I found was the left stack um, had 51 carbons, and the right stack had 53. And they each have uh, one defective carbon, the, the one with the bite out of it that will eliminate and one that was broken in half um, that we'll eliminate. Right? So now we have 50 on the left and 52 on the right. So we'll just take one from the right to the left and we'll have equal stacks of 51. And I have removed as many as uh, four from each side and had normal operation. So to go from basically, you know, 52 per side to 51 is not a problem. And I polished up the lead uh, carbon connections on both sides and the end backstop thicker uh, disc, and they're all good. So I'm going to clean up all the housing parts and stuff like that, then I'll reassemble. So we've got everything cleaned up now, everything degreased, polished, cleaned, the housing all set, scrub and clean the cord. What I've got to do now is rebuild the carbon stacks into the housing and mount everything back together. And then we'll be able to adjust it and hook it up to the motor and test it. So now reassembled and adjusted and we should have more uh, range of speed in our foot controller here. So we can go slow and then faster.
Okay, I like it.